Hi, hello, welcome back to the channel. So today we are fixing the window regulator or fixing the window on a 2006 Honda Accord. Uh, so the customer states that the window does not roll down uh, or it does roll down on its own, but it does not stay up on its own. So what we're gonna do is get into the door, get the remove the door panel to get to the regulator. So yeah, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so first thing you want to do to take off the door panel, uh, you want to take a small flathead screwdriver or plastic prying tools. You want to get in between this and this here and just work work that up. It should pop out like that. Okay, and that should come out. And you want to disconnect this. Uh, so you have these little tabs here. You're gonna press on these and then pull them out to remove this. A trick that I like to use when uh, taking off plugs is to squeeze this here. You squeeze the tab and if you can't pull it up, you just take a flathead screwdriver and kind of, you know, wiggle it back and forth in between here to help you pull this out. So next thing you want to do is there's a little tap piece back here. You want to take your flat screwdriver, work it behind that, and pop this out. Okay. And you're going to have these two Phillips screws. You want to remove these two screws. Okay. Next thing you want to do is take your flat head. You're going to pop off this cover here. And you want to gently do that. And don't be too forceful. It should remove itself almost. There you go. Okay, so in the coin holder portion of this, you want to lift this up here. You will find a screw. Screw right there. You want to remove that screw. Now what you want to do is work a pry bar or your flathead screwdriver along here and you will release clips that are here so yeah you basically take your flathead screwdriver or pry bar and just work the clips loose along the edge of here You want to make sure when removing this you lift upwards because you want to lift it over over this here the uh the lock actuator okay so when you pop the panel back you're going to notice this clipped inside the panel so there's going to be like a little tab on the end of this it goes right here what you're gonna to want to do is unclip this part here out of this little space where it goes in here. All you're gonna do is just pull it back and then you should be able to slip this part up and out. Also, you're gonna find this light bulb tapped into or inside of the door panel. You're gonna to wanna to just twist that counterclockwise to remove it. Um, just twist it counterclockwise, pull it back. And then there's also this push tab uh, that's in there as well. You just wanna pop that out. You can just pull back on the on this and it should just pop out. Okay, so now to get to the regulator from here, you have to remove this vapor barrier that separates the door panel to the inside of the door. Um, I would start by 
unscrewing these two here you have to remove this bracket this is a bracket that the door panel hinges on so yeah i'll remove that now okay so i'm taking off this vapor barrier um they use adhesive on this you don't want to get this on your clothes because it will ruin your clothes or it can ruin your clothes but yeah you just want to work your way around the door and just pull back on this and it's adhesive uh it's very temperature reactive so you can put this back and reuse it um and then when it gets hot it'll set itself back in place okay with the vapor barrier removed or just pushed out of the way what you're going to want to do is now roll down this window so um usually you know if someone's doing this job the window doesn't work uh, with the window switch so what you want to do is whatever you have holding the window temporarily go ahead and remove that and then you're going to push the window down until you reveal the two bolts here these two bolts are uh, for the window regulator holding the window so you want it to remove these two and be careful once you remove them nothing else will be holding the glass and then after that i'm gonna have to push the window back up and tape it so it doesn't fall because i'm gonna remove the only thing holding the window uh once i remove the bolts for these so yeah we're gonna do that now Okay, <clears throat> so after taping the window so it's not gonna move once you take the two regulator bolts out, now you're going to focus on getting the regulator out of the car. So uh, every bolt that's gold related to this, you're gonna just loosen. You're not gonna remove it completely because what you can do is loosen it and then it'll just slide over to where there's a hole connected. You see how these are done like that? So yeah, we're going to loosen this, these two here, loosen that one there. You're going to remove this one, two, three, four, and you're going to loosen one, two, three. Okay, so on your uh, window motor, which is behind here, you're also going to have a plug on the back side right here, connecting into the motor so you're going to want to press the tab on that and release it and i'll show you what that looks like uh, once i have it removed okay so this is what the connector looks like so it's just right here on the inside of the door uh, through this hole you'll be able to reach a hand down there and get to that but yeah you just squeeze this little tab on the end you see right there you just squeeze that and pull pull back on it and it should come out okay so we have the old regulator here and a new one here and it looks like the cable completely snapped on this one um so yeah we're gonna put in a new one it comes with a motor on it which is nice uh if it didn't you should be able to uh, you should be able to just break these loose if your motor works and put them on the, the new regulator so yeah we're gonna take these uh, bolts that transfer into these we're gonna put them on and get them back in the car uh, yeah then we should be able to try out the window okay so once all your hardware is swapped over you're gonna fish the new regulator the same way you brought it out you're gonna swing it through here work the motor and everything all the way back into position uh slot your golden bolts through the hole and over back into position just like that for those three 
then you can start your four uh, other bolts, 10 millimeter, millimeter bolts. Uh, all of these are 10 millimeters. So yeah. yeah, you're gonna go ahead and work those back in, tighten it down, and then you're gonna put your window back in place. So yeah, we're gonna do that now. Don't forget to plug your motor connector back in. Okay, so once your regulator is now in and your plug is reconnected and everything, you're gonna wanna take your tape off and then you're going to once again slide the window down until you can see it here. And you're gonna line up the two holes for the window and you're gonna put your bolts back, bolt your window back in. Okay, and once your window is bolted back in, what you're going to want to do now is plug up your switches and make sure the window works. Let's see. And voila, we're back to having a working window. Okay, so then you're going to want to reassemble everything, put your vapor barrier back. Uh, don't forget when reconnecting your door panel. To put this in because that's what's gonna make your your uh, door handle work on the inside of the car so you definitely want to make sure that this is clipped back in um, yeah other than that uh, installation or putting it back together just reversal of the removal and you're good to go all right so that concludes our fix on the window regulator of this generation Honda Core is a 2006. Yep, and everything's working well. When it rolls down and rolls up. So yeah, there you go.